Hello everyone, RC Captain Alex here, back with another Model Rocket update. Well, this time I have the brand new, well, not really brand new, but to me it's brand new, the Estes Journey Fly Model Rocket launch set. Now, real talk, I have the Estes Portapad E launch set for the bigger rockets, but I need another, um, a smaller launch pad. So I decided on Amazon, it was about 30 some dollars for the normal launch pad itself, and with the rocket, it was about the same price. So I was like, why not get a free rocket with it? So I got the SS Journey. So without further ado, let's get this open and see what it looks like. I know it was reversed in the other video, but here's the front of the box. 1,100 feet, 335 meters on a C65 engine. I believe I have the C65s or C67s ordered. So that'll do that. There's the different engines in the rocket flight sequence inside the box here. That's just rockets, of course. The Journey Flying Model Rocket Launch Set. Build and launch for high flying fun. Very excited. I have some engines, like I just said, on the way. I want to get the Pro Series launch controller as well, but this is. Um, I needed a new launch pad, and here it is. So we're going to take this for a test flight later this week, hopefully. Parachute and all. Just I got some wadding as well, I just ordered. And I got some other rockets along the way. So stay tuned, everybody. The Estes Journey. Let's get it on open. All right, guys, let's get it open and see what we got inside the box for the Estes Journey. Coming out of the box here, here is the rocket. A little bit smaller than I anticipated, but that's okay. Here is that special launch pad. Well, not really special, but if you need a launch pad, this is like the most updated launch pad that you can get in 2023. Besides like the Pro Series launch pad, this will pretty much launch anything from Estes. Any rocket. There's some even some larger ones on the website that I figured needed a bigger launch pad but it said it's fine with this so it's definitely an important piece to have here and like this will work with everything like i said like but pretty much a free rocket with this because everything else is, is about the same price as a normal launch pad on amazon as well as the launch rod nothing else in the box here so here here it is all together here, the Estes Journey. All right, everybody, went ahead and took the launch pad out of the bag. As you can see, it's just a simple launch pad. Each of these go on oh, each side just like this. Basically, you just slide it right down onto there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up here. We put some batteries in here. I believe it's double A batteries. And then you're good to go. So there you go. The Estes launch pad. All right, everyone. I got the launch pad set up here. Beautiful launch pad here. Please stay tuned for another video here on how to set the launch pad up. The link will be in the bio. Now let's get the journey set up. All right, everyone. Here is the Estes journey and its parts all laid out here. All right guys, so first you're gonna take some of this Gorilla Glue, I mean you can use whatever glue you'd like, but this is what I'm using. And I'm gonna take this piece and glue it into here. And what that's gonna do is be a part for your, your parachute. What this is gonna do is gonna attach your shock cord here. After you've applied some glue around the ring here, you then wanna insert this into here, just like so. Now we're just gonna let this dry right here. We're going to move on to the next part. So then we're going to attach, kind of going backwards here, but we're going to attach these as well. And we're just going to lightly glue the sides here. All right, everybody. Now, after I've added some glue along here, everyone does it different ways. You are going to attach it just like so. Make sure that this is facing down like so, just like this. You gotta be careful of getting the glue on your hands. Wipe and then let dry. And then move on to the next step. Now I went ahead and glued the bottom of this tube, just like this. You want to do it right by um, where the rod holes are. Now we're going to insert this top part, not the screwy part, but the top part into here. And we'll just let that dry. And then we will attach the fins. Right after that is in there, be sure that the fins are not 
You don't want any of these fins being in the way of the rod language because it has to obviously sit on the rod without the fin in the way. So you have to be really careful. I was a little bit close, but I think I'm going to be just fine. But just for future reference, everybody. Next, you want to add a little bit of little. Next, you want to add a little bit of glue where the fins go, and continue as so around the whole thing. After you have all three fins on, just like this, you just slide in and slide up. Surely the instructions will explain more to you as well. You can see that it's pretty straightforward on this model, especially this is a beginner model, just like so. This glue dries pretty quick, within about 10 seconds, it is gel glue. And this is my first time having this, honestly, and it is amazing. So just keep out of your fingers and you'll be good. So now we're gonna let that dry and we are gonna go ahead and attach the nose cone to here. So after you attach the shock cord here, I did a few more knots than you should do, but there it is, just to be sure. And next, what we're going to do, since it's pretty dry in the tube and the shock cord comes already attached, we're gonna attach our parachute. All right, here's what it looks like with the parachute attached here. And now we are going to fold it up gently. And we are going to slide it into here. Now these are this is a thinner rocket, so I've been dealing with the thicker rockets lately. So this is a lot different to put in here. Here is another more clean way, I guess, to put it in as well. It's hard to do this with one hand here, everybody, so just be patient. Basically, you want to just tuck that in there. Obviously, there's going to be wadding and everything before we launch, but you know how it goes. And we'll tuck this all in, and voila! There you have the mighty Estes Journey rocket. Now, let's go ahead and get the decals on. Also wanted to show here, most importantly, this is what's going to cover your engine. So once your engine is inside here, with the wadding obviously stuffed in before the parachute, you're going to take this and just spin it on here. Very nice rocket here. I mean, simple rocket, but there you go. Bigger than some of the smaller ones they started off when I was in high school. But it looks like it kind of stands on this more with this on here. Also looks like that in the picture as well. So it kind of just balances on there. So if you want to display it, I'd recommend unscrewing this and just keeping this with the rocket. Let's go ahead and get the decal on. The Estes Journey. All right, everybody. After you have your main decal on, you also have a clear reinforcement decal as well that goes over the launch, kind of the launch pad rack here. Just gonna put it, just gonna put it nicely on there, just like that. And I guess that's gonna ensure that nothing happens to your rocket as it takes off. Guess I didn't trust the glue on this, I guess, so. There we go. It should be just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here for you guys to see it all together. All right, everyone. And finally, here is the journey in all its glory on the rocket pad. The zoomed out version here. There it is, all together. And it just slides on like this. Obviously some people put tape, I found out, so that it can sit a little bit higher. Because apparently that's just enough too. So that's probably what I'll do on launch day. But other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for coming with me today and building the beautiful Estes Journey flying model rocket. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching my video on how to build the Estes Journey rocket. You guys can also see a video on how to build the rocket launch pad in the link below. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Please subscribe for more. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy the video. And also, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at RCCaptainAlex. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in space. Thank you.